animation. So just for fun, I made a second 36 frame animation. Let me zoom, zoom in here. This is from that, just an animation from that creepy puppet from the Saw movies. Uh, I'm sure you recognize this, but it, it's, I ripped this from like a YouTube video, made a looping 36 frame animation, and it's arranged, you'll see, in a 6 by 6 grid. So let's go over to Dark Shader again and load in this texture into the sprite map. This TV old saw, I'm calling it I. That's the name of the texture. Okay, there's the animation. You'll see it's wrong right now because this actually uses 36 frames. So we'll need to adjust the uh, rows and columns. It uses six horizontal and six vertical. Now it displays right on the screen. Isn't that cool? Now you get this creepy saw puppet animation. Let's lower the darkness for fun. That would be really creepy in one of your uh, game levels. But you see, you have full control over this. Now, it's, this also is set up to play at 15 frames per second. But like I said, you can change that any way you want. You can, let's do this at 30 frames per second. You'll see it plays a lot faster. So really cool. Now, let me just show you a couple other things you can do with this shader. I'm going to load in a new model, the newer TV model. And here is its diffuse texture. I'm going to load that in. Let's raise the brightness up. And I'm going to load in its own static animation. It doesn't match up right because we need to change the... This also uses a 4x4 four four sprite texture. So four rows and four columns. Now if I zoom in here, you'll see it also has a blinking LED light. Now how did I do that? Well, this works just like a sprite animation. You'll see I lower it and it still blinks. Let's go over to Photoshop here and look at this animation here. Now hopefully if I zoom in, you can see this. You'll see on four of the frames I have the LED on. For the next four frames it's off. For the next four it's on again. And for the next four, it's off. And that plays on top of the static animation for that texture. Let's just take another look. There it's on, there it's off. So the effect you get is a blinking light. So that's really cool too. You, get a, you can do all kinds of stuff with this shader. Okay, now let's do another one. Let's load in this um, standby animation, like a, a, after a station has gone off the air, they play a standby th signal. Now that's playing a little too fast for me. Let's lower the frames per second. Use a slider to load all the way down to two frames per second. There, I like that. Now you'll see, for this one, there's no blinking LED. I just leave it on the whole time. And let me show just one more final one, just to give you an idea how versatile this uh, shader can be. Um, for this one, I'm going to simulate the appearance of a security monitor, monitor. So let's load in this new texture here. And for this particular texture, it only uses four frames of animation. So we want to change the rows and columns to a two by two grid. Now let's lower the frame rate here. You'll see it's flipping through different screenshots I've captured for my Metro Theater model pack to kind of give the, illu um, the illusion that this is a security monitor showing different views of the level. It's going too fast for what I like right now. Let's lower this frames per second to something really low, 0 0.25, less than 1. That means that's a quarter of a second. That means it's only going to change frames every 4 seconds. So in your level, it kind of looks like a security monitor. It's flipping through different cameras. And all I did was take some different screenshots of the level 
and I uh, here's the uh, texture layout. I arranged it in a two by two grid. Each one follows the UV layout of the TV model, which is right here. So you'll see that the each grid the animation is only shown on the TV screen. It corresponds to the UV layout of the model. And again, we can lower this way down. You'll see the TV darkens, but the screen does not. It still displays as if it's an illuminated TV screen along with the LED. I don't have it blinking in this case. I just have it on for all four frames. So you can zoom in, you see I've got the LED showing on for all four frames. So it's a really neat shader that you can do a ton of stuff with this. Not only for television screens, but you could use it for um, blinking lights. You could have like a flashing warning sign um, or just display animations on your model. Now when you're ready to export the shader, um, these settings will be saved. So when you have your model loaded and you have the texture how you want it and you have all these settings what you want or you know how you like it, you can go to File, Export Object Shader and place it in your Effect Bank in FPS Creator. Now in this case I'm putting it in a folder named PS20 for Pixel Shader 2.0 Entities, Dynamic and I'm going to give this a name here called Diffuse Sprite Atlas 2 by 2 So that tells me um, what the shader is and it's using a 2 by 2 grid to animate it. It just helps me so, that, so I can use this shader for other models that might use these same settings. And one other thing I'll mention is that I put the folder stru structure this way, Entities Dynamic, because this shader is set up to use on dynamic entities it won't work with static entities. I just did that for ease of use. It's a little easier to set up a shader for use with a dynamic entity than a static one. But this will work just fine as static. You can set it to immobile and it will pick up the uh, color and intensity of the lights you place in your level and display this animation. So uh, I'm going to stop the screen capture right now and then pop on over to FPS Creator and show you how these effects look in an actual level. Okay, here we are in FPS Creator. I've just made a simple room, the movie projector, and here are our television screens. Here on the right is the new TV with the static and the blinking LED light. Next to it is the security monitor that changes frames every four seconds. Right here is the older TV with the creepy saw puppet. And over here are our newer TVs with this off-air standby animation and another one with the snow static signal. So, really neat.